In this video, I'm going to analyze, uh, or we'll talk about it anyway, analyzing data, quartiles, interquartile reigns, and box and whisker plots with the TI-84 Plus, so in case you ever need to do that. Uh, the I'm going to go ahead and just get into it. Really, we're working with the list here, so I'm going to turn it on. I need to clear out my list. If I can get it to do it. Okay, generally you want to do it individually because if you go up to the top and delete it, it'll delete L1, which makes it all kind of get wonky after a while. So it's just in your best interest to delete them individually if possible. Anyway, once you do that, type min. And I'll go back up and check. There should be 10, and there is, so I'm you know ready to work with it now. This is uh, what I'm going to end up doing is a one variable statistic, so I can get a whole bunch of information from it. So if I go into uh, the stat menu and click over to the calc, which is calculations, I'll go to one variable stats and hit enter to pick L1 as my list. I'm not going to pick a frequency list and hit calculate. If I click down a little bit, this is a whole bunch of information. Um, you can get standard deviation there. You can figure out, you know, kind of what the values of the sets are and that that whole thing. So. What I'm interested in is what's minimum, maximum, Q1, median, and Q3 are. So just click down a little bit. There's the minimum value of 3, uh, Q1 value of 4, median of 5, Q3 of 8, and max of 11. Now, I want to make a box and whisker plot which could tell me all that information as well. So what we're going to do, I'm going to quit, quit out first. You have to still type your list in, otherwise it won't work. I'm going to use a, a plot here. So hit second and y equals, and you're going to actually turn one of the plots on. By the way, once you turn a plot on, you have to turn it back off, or when you try to graph normally, your uh, calculator will go out of its mind. It doesn't understand what you're trying to do. So I'm going to hit enter. I need to turn that plot on, and I need to uh, go down to type. I'm going to pick the one in the middle here, the box and whisker plot. Choose that one. It's going to ask me which list do I want to use, and I want to use L1, of course, and the frequency is fine. The thing is, my calculator right now is set up to graph normally, so I probably have x values of negative five, 10 and 10 or something like that. Uh, but I'm gonna, my numbers go from the number 3 all the way up to the number 11, which is above 10, obviously. So I need to adjust my window a little bit. So I'm going to go into the window here. Uh, not going to do it that way. I'm going to hit Enter to choose the frequency. Might help if I just kind of quit out of it really quickly. Yeah, sorry. So I'm going to quit out now that it's all set up and ready to roll ski. I'm going to go to the window, and I'm going to change it. I usually go like one below the smallest number, so 2, and my x maximum, I'm going to put one above, so 12. And now that that's all kind of where it needs to be, I'm going to hit graph, and it should make a nice uh, box and whisker plot for me. The cool thing about it is if I hit the trace button, it'll start telling me where all the information is. So mine tells me that uh, the median is 5. If I click to the left, it'll tell me Q1 is 4, the minimum X is 3, and then you can go over and get Q3 of 8 and maximum of 11. So all that information is there for you. You can make it pretty easily, so it might be a nice way to organize your information.